hi everyone welcome back today i'm super excited to share with you how to program diy arduino plc with our c studio this software is for an open source hardware that uses the arduino bootloader which makes it compatible with our arduino plc one lovely feature i admire so much of this software is the ability to monitor program logic online which is ideal for troubleshooting and cold debugging. Let's get started. Kindly subscribe if you've not done that already and also press on the notification bell. This way you always be notified whenever I upload new video. Programming in our C Studio is done with the ladder diagram. The primary language is Indonesia, with English as an option. It supports I2C and SPI devices, as well as Modbus communication protocol. You can simulate your logic program before uploading into the PLC, as well as do online data monitoring. Now let's look at the pin map of the RC Studio with respect to the Arduino Nano, which forms the core of our DIY Arduino PLC. Okay, so we can see that IX0.0 .0 to IX0.3 maps to S.5 to S.8 in the RC PLC. We can see the output QX0.0 .0 to Q x0.2 maps to r.5 r.6 r.2 and then r.1 respectively okay so we'll move on and then have a look at our circuit wiring shortly okay we have our circuit wiring right now we have the yellow connected to r.5 green connected to r.6 and then we have our input which is our start connected to s.6 and then the stop S.5. Our C Studio works with the Arduino Nano version 3.0 that has the CH340 chip for USB communication. If you don't have the drivers for this chip, you can download it from the download page of the RC.com. Open the page and then click on the CH340 drivers. It will start downloading. We have it downloaded now. You click on the folder to open it. Now scroll to the RC software. Click on it and then download it. Okay, you can now extract the RC software. Okay, you can double click on it and then run the software. It's installed very quickly. You have the icon on your desktop, click on it, and then we have the interface. Now the fun part. Connect your Arduino PLC to your computer and verify the port. After that, we can move on. You go to languages and then select English. You go to settings and then we select our board, which is Nano V5. We come to our port and select the port that we verified. Board rate, we select 115200. And then we are done with the settings. We now move on and then create our direct online logic. We select a branch. We select a normally open contact. For our start. We select next normally open contact for our hold on. We select another normally open contact for our stop. And then we select an output for our light indicator. Okay, we assign the addresses. We move to switches and then select S.5 for our stop. S.6 for our start. And then we move to curl and then select R.5 
for our yellow lamp and then we assign R.5 as the hold on contact at this particular point. Okay, we click on test and we can see there are no errors, no mistake. We now click on download to now send the code to our PLC. We can see upload succeeded. We can now click on online so we can monitor our logic online. Great. I'm online now. When I press the start, we can see our start button opens. And we, when I press the stop, we can see that it closes. We can see our logic is not working right. We need to fix this. So I go back and then go offline by clicking on this. I'm now offline. And then we can see that we need to rectify this. Why is our logic not working correctly? Open PLC inputs are pulled low, whereas our CPLC inputs are pulled high. There's a fix to this. So we need to invert this signal and then invert this one too as well. And then we download it back into the PLC. Downloading done. We'll now move on and go back online again. And this time we can see the uh, all our signals are active. I need to press the stop push button to disable it. And then we come back to our normal direct online logic. When I press the start, it closes. And then when I press the stop, it closes. You can see that I'm able to monitor my logic also online as well. Viewers, this forms the basis of our exploration of the LC Studio with our DIY Arduino PLC. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.